안녕하십니까 남상치과 김기성 원장입니다. Greetings, I'm Dr. Kim g i s o n g of Namsang Dental Clinic. Let me introduce a case and a video clip that I've done quite a while ago. In 2017, I did live surgery in Moscow for. I was given the honor of uh, performing live surgery for the first time, so, so I was really dedicated to it. The live surgery was held in Moscow, and uh, surgery was performed in Korea. This was my very first live surgery, so I was really nervous. Let me explain about this case. The patient was fairly young, but lost a lot of teeth. The plan was to use six implants in the upper and to provide prosthesis up to the posterior area. This is an initial visit. The interior six is made of porcelain, and you can see that both posterior area, there's no teeth, and there's only three residual teeth in the lower. Wire clasp RPD was used temporarily, and in the lower, the patient was using flexible partial denture. In order to do guided surgery, you need to merge CT and scan data, and when we take a CT, you need to make resin marker to increase convenience when merging. I use a tetric flowable resin most to form these resin markers. At the time, there was no scanner, so impression was taken. Model scanner was used to get scan data. Silicone was used to take impression. Super hard plaster was used to make model. If you come across such extensive case, you need to provide accurate bite information along with the primary model to be able to do accurate guided surgery and provide provisional. Bite records were provided to Austin Center in order to do guided surgery. The plan was to Place three implants each because the patient had small arch, although the patient only had six anteriors. The patient condition, as shown on the CT, the patient had very good bone quality, but it was very unfortunate that the patient had no teeth. In number 15, bone quantity seems slightly lacking, but overall, the bone quality and quantity was very favorable. Through merging via implant studio and implant surgery plan was made. Implant placement position and angle was adjusted following the virtual prosthesis design. We chose the appropriate implant size following the bone quality. Number 17, 4.5 by 10 millimeter implant was planned, but the design was to use wide hole design. In the case of one guide, there is wide hole to place a 5.0 implant, and you need to use regular hole in order to place 4.5 diameter implant. In this case, provisional needed to be connected, and if primary stability was insufficient while placing 4.5, I would need to resort to 5.0. Therefore, in light of the possibility that I would need to use a 5.0 diameter implant, I chose wide hole design. In number 16, 4.5 by 11.5 implant was planned. This is a longer implant compared to what I normally use. The reason is because this case required immediate loading, therefore I chose an implant that was slightly longer. It's the same here, 4.5 diameter implant, but a wide hole design was used, and in number 15, 4.0 diameter was used, and in number 25, 4.0 by 10 millimeter implant was used. Regular hole was used in this case, in number 26 and 27, it's the same. Although 4.5 diameter implants have been chosen, wide hole designs were selected.
In number 27, 4.5 by 11.5 millimeter implant was used. One guide was designed and template was designed. This was the end result. Three implants were used to provide abutments and provisional restoration. The purpose was to restore masticatory function. I'm a kind of a worried freak, so even if you use guide using various data, there can be slight error. So always after making guide, I use CT checker. I do this before surgery. For surgery of this patient, one guide and provisional and abutments were all ready and right before surgery, CT checker was connected and CT was taken to confirm everything once again. Surgical sites were confirmed and flap list surgery was planned. Accurate evaluation of guide was necessary before surgery. One guide was adapted. Adaptation was confirmed, and this is after implant placement. In number 15, 16, 17, and 25, 26, and 27, you can see that implants have been placed nicely, and abutments are connected here. This is on the day of surgery, and the patient is wearing provisional. Final cement was used to set the provisional restoration. This is after prosthesis delivery, and you can see that this is a provisional with screw hole. On the same day, six implants were placed, non-hex type transfer abutments were used. Let's take a look at the final restoration process. After two months, impression coping, transfer impression copings were used to make model. And I always use CAD CAM abutment, one fit abutment all the time. I made three one fit abutments. And after removing the provisional restoration, customized one fit abutments were delivered. Abutment level impression was taken and ER type zirconia prosthesis were fabricated. This is one month after implant surgery and this is after one fit CAD CAM abutment was connected. And after the patient wore provisional for several period, about two weeks later, abutment level impression was taken to make final prosthesis. After that, the patient's anterior teeth were damaged and the implant towards the anterior side was used to provide a restoration once again. And this is the panoramic image of it. Unfortunately, the patient refused to take the final intraoral photo, so there is no image. Now let's look at the video of live surgery, which I've done in 2017 Moscow Forum. First, one guide template is checked for fitness. Thank you. 
Boxen, boxen. Joggen da, und joggen da. Insertion RPM is 15 RPM. Yeah. Yeah. Pick shot your depth and hex. Action. 머리 부지 말고. 피처 드라이버 for control the depth and hex positioning. 조금 몰라야 돼요. 아, 잠만요. 오케이. 코티칼 파트 블링. 오케이. 아, 돼요. 
This is in front of you. This area, I will use top driver. 거의 다 심었어요. 오케이. 아, 하세요. 조금만 조금만 다 했어 독센스 아, 오케이 버티컬 포지셔닝 앤 헥스 포지셔닝 이렇게 뉴턴 준비해줘요. 어, 10뉴턴. 아, 오케이. 오케이. 응? 입에 뭐 떨어져 생각지 마세요. 꺼져. 핸드 드라이버. 오케이. In immediate loading case, I will use non-X type of a month. Huh? No? Okay. 
agua para acá. Ok. Ah. Ok. Probi, ¿no? Al pit, ¿ale? Ok. Bite? Bite? Ah, okay. Dámelo, buceo. Ok. Mira, chupa. Ah. 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 After the tightening the optimal screw and fill the screw hole with the teflon tape, I will cement this provisional with RMGI cement. Uh, all pictures are well positioned. Okay. Oh, this is a good Okay. Okay, so... Oh. 